Hey, what's up? Hello, everyone. It's another day. This is officially day one of the Toronto International Film Festival, Thursday, September 7th. Uh, today, on the docket, I've got six films planned. Four of them are press screenings, two of them I don't have tickets to. So, hopefully, we're gonna get those. But I should be seeing Anatomy of a Fall, Zone of Interest, Flora and Sun, um, Perfect Days, which I'll be rushing, fitting in with Maddie Ziegler, and hopefully finishing the day off with a midnight screening of Dix the Musical. Also, we'll be rushing that one. So, wish me the best. But right now, it is 8 a.m and I am on my way to Anatomy of a Fall. Last night, I got home at like 1.30 a.m., so not quite tired yet, but we'll get there. Holy shit. Wow. So, a little update. Um, the Anatomy of a Fall line stretches all the way around the block. Uh, Fingers crossed we get in. I just checked the venue capacity. It's 520. So. Oh my god. Alright, I'm right by the door. <laughs> Hoping this works. Maybe. Somehow. Holy shit. I'm kidding, actually. It is full. Yes. But um, they are doing like seating one person at a time. I'm the fifth person in line, so. Ooh. Okay, so I waited 50 minutes, threw in the towel. I will not be seeing Anatomy of a Fall at TIFF. Womp womp. Oh well. Uh, anyways, Zone of Interest is at 11.45. It is in a small theater as well, so. I am gonna go line up early so that I get the jump on this. I'm just gonna get some work done, you know? It's, it's all good vibes. Like, Anatomy of a Fall comes out in a month, so... Okay, I didn't film beforehand, but I did get into Zone of Interest. I just got out of the film. I was the second person in line, so missing Anatomy of a Fall was beneficial for that, I guess. Um, so yeah, Zone of Interest was, I'm, I'm a little bit mixed on it, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, not mixed in the way that I've been hearing some people say, where they come out of the film saying that they do not know what to think. Um, I feel like I know exactly how I feel about it. I'm just a little bit iffy on it in general. Um, for one thing, I think that the entire concept of the film is genuinely brilliant. We're looking at the banality of evil, exploring the horrors of the Holocaust through a distance. We are uh, being placed into this setting where we are basically forced to be completely removed uh, and experience the evil through how bland and boring the lives of these people are. They're not mustache twirling villains. They are boring, cold, calculated monsters. Um, and once the film like sets up that idea of what it's trying to do, I don't think it really goes anywhere new with it. And so I kind of just felt like, yeah, I get it for, for most of the movie. Uh, it's very well made. The sound design work is uh, unparalleled. It's like brilliant, brilliant sound work that I really hope does get a nomination. That'd be one of the coolest nominations possible. Um, but the movie, Honestly, it's just a little dull. It says what it has to say in the first 10 minutes and then just repeats that point ad nauseum. Um, score is very minimal and when it is there, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, honestly, this one, it was good. Uh, it just, I don't know, I think it's a more interesting thought experiment than a film. I'm just eating nachos now. Delicious. One last thing I'll say about Zone of Interest before moving on is that I think Dylan is gonna hate this movie. Which I think a, a lot of people are gonna really dislike this movie. It's good, I'm just definitely conflicted, but Dylan, you're not gonna like this movie. I'd be very shocked if you do. Because I missed Anatomy this morning, I'm in a bit of a dilemma because there is another Anatomy of a Fall show 
at five, but also Anatomy of a Fall releases in a month. And I would be scrapping my other plans, which were that I was gonna go see Flora and Son, and then I was going to rush Perfect Days. Um, so I'm really tossing up. I'm gonna let fate decide for me. I'm gonna go to Flora and Son right now. If I don't get in, I'm gonna join the Anatomy of a Fall rush line. And if I do get in, I'll just stick to my plans. It's all good. That This is what we do. We adapt. We move. Uh, and no matter what, I'm gonna see some great films. I heard a rumor that Kristen Stewart was once at that Hooters. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. There's an iconic photo of Kristen Stewart at a Hooters. Apparently it's that one. So this is just a little bit of Festival Street, um, but it's still day one, so it's going to get a lot more wild when it actually becomes the weekend, because today's Thursday. It's a little gray today, so. So, looks like I am doing Flora and Sun, not Anatomy of the Fall. It's fine, we move. It comes out in a month. I'll see it then. Sorry that I don't have any insights for you about that movie. Instead, I'm gonna watch a musical. Flora and Sun time. Just got out of Flora and Sun, which was lovely. Just so charming and very sweet. Had great music. Trailer didn't sell me on the movie at all, but it really, really delivered. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's as I wouldn't say it's as good as Once or Begin Again, but it was really lovely. Uh, definitely recommend checking that one out when it comes on Apple TV. Rip me. Okay, second time today. I've been the last person not let into something. Ugh, my luck is not off to a good start, but uh, it will not always be like this, so it's all good. Um, yeah, two movies missed today. Ouch, ouch. Well, since I am not seeing a movie now. I guess I'll just walk around and give you guys a bit of a view of some of the street atmosphere around here of Festival Street. Here we got the Princess of Wales Theater and the line for the boy in the heron is going in right now. Got the dumb money ad and the rat right there. All right, so it's a little later. I did miss perfect days and I went home for a bit because fun life fact, I'm moving tomorrow. My apartment is changing tomorrow. So I went home and packed instead of seeing something else. I would have seen perfect days, but today has not been a perfect day. I missed anatomy of a fall. I missed perfect days. But now I am going back to TIFF Central and I'm gonna see fitting in and then I'm gonna try my luck with rushing, <laughs> I'm gonna try my luck with rushing Dix the Musical. Um, my luck has been horrible today, but I'm gonna chalk it up to the first day. It's the first day of TIFF. Everyone's still figuring out how things are going on. They only let in 13 people into perfect days. I was number 14 in line. Oh, breaks my heart, but eh, so it goes. Little indie movie in IMAX. Yes. All right, just got out of my third movie of the day, Fitting In. Um, this is a Canadian dramedy, uh, which is done by the director Molly McGlynn, stars Maddie Ziegler in the lead role. Um, and this one was pretty good. It was a very like authentic, from the heart movie. Like every moment of it felt really deeply truthful. Um, there were some issues with like some of the dialogue, some of the performances, uh, but the film was pretty freaking badass just in how, like, real it all felt. Um, so definitely recommend checking this out. Uh, it's a very, like, body positive movie, uh, a very progressive movie that uh, really impressed me in a lot of ways. I just kind of wish the dialogue was a little stronger, but I love how raw it was.
side note, I was supposed to go and join the Rush Line for Dick's the Musical, um, but <laughs> I mentioned earlier that I'm moving apartments tomorrow, and today our current apartment had a leak, so now things are chaos. So it looks like I'm skipping out on, uh, on the midnight movie tonight, probably for the best because I did miss Anatomy of a Fall this morning because I was a little... I, would, I, I wasn't late. I was just 30 minutes early and I probably should have been 40. So uh, tomorrow morning is The Boy and the Heron. It's probably a good idea that I don't stay up till 2 a.m. at a midnight movie. So maybe skipping it's for the best, but uh, till then, I'm gonna go deal with some apartment things uh, and see you tomorrow.